So as you guys know, anybody that's on social media, our website, anything like that, Facebook and all that, uh, you can see now that we finally released the uh, Racepack Virtual Dash app. And one of the things we learned about this technology, Bluetooth technology, and trying to integrate it into race cars is it's a lot more complicated than pairing up to your speakers in your house. You know, trying to make it work on these 10,000 horsepower nitro cars is a little challenging. We worked our way through the engineering challenges and now we have it out and the response has been really, really good. However, we do want to answer some very simple questions as to, as to what we're seeing on, on, like I said, on Facebook and social media and emails and things that are coming in related to the app. So the first thing is, what does it work on? Uh, basically, it'll work on any sort of uh, iPad, iPhone, or any Droid application. So any of your you know, Android right. stuff off the Google Play Network or the Apple right. stuff. As far as the race pack stuff, V300, V500, Sportsman, IQ3 Logger Dash, any of our VNet systems, it will actually work. Right. So why did we come up with this? We came up with it as a safety device because we were running the Nostalgia Funny Car with Todd at the Hot Rod Reunion and we wanted to see what he was seeing on the display dash in the car, but it's a funny car so it's really hard to lean in there and we didn't want him to run us over. So yeah. um, we basically you know, got with the engineers and said it would be really cool if we could look at this stuff on our phone so that way we'd be out of the way of the car, etc. and we weren't getting ran over and we could see and you know, if we needed to speed up to get the car on the beams faster right. or anything like that. So that's kind of where it evolved from. And, you know, I've, I've used it on my own personal stuff in different ways as well. I, I actually link it up on my super comp car, link it up. And when I come back from a run, I leave my iPhone on the workbench. And that way I can see what the, you know, I leave the radiator fan and to cool, to cool the car. Well, when I'm downloading my run, I can see exactly what's actually happening. So that way I don't drain my battery. So right. when it, it hits a hundred degrees, boom, I can go out there and shut it off and right. put it on the battery charger. So to actually make this thing work, it takes a VNet module. Mm -hmm. It takes a, just a little wireless Bluetooth VNet module that uh, we offer here. Part or, number. Uh, 230VM Dash app. And the Dash app itself is actually free, which is really cool. So the only thing that you're really paying for is the Bluetooth module itself. And that's only $150. That's not so, bad. No, not at all. And it, uh, it's it's, priced relatively uh, relatively well for you know somebody that wants to try it out and, and things like that and you know right. double up the display so what, what will it actually do if, if once they download the app what do they get uh, when they download the app they're gonna get the ability to basically see anything that your IQ3 display dash is gonna see as well so if you have it set up on your car oil water fuel rpm etc it's all gonna be streaming over here there's four pages of, of information on the dash just like you would have in the race car and uh, you can set warnings uh, you can uh, you know do shift lights you know things like that just like you would on the IQ3 but you display. don't have to plug your laptop into programming right no what's really cool with right. this is because it's all bluetooth uh, there's no serial cable so once you once you read in the serial you know the module right. in in with the serial cable you can then basically just say oh hey i go to menu i want the oil pressure in the bottom left boom set my thresholds my indicators and off I go. Mm -hmm. Okay, what will it not do? It will not uh, run telemetry all the way down the track. Um, the range for this particular app is about 30 to 50 feet, depending on what the area is, uh, you know, the geographic location. So um, basically, it's for starting line procedures and warm up procedures, is what we designed it for. Now, if you're running a, a tractor puller or something like that and it's not as far of a distance, you might get a little more out of it. So. But the cool thing is, if you do you do a burnout, the crew guy's holding it, holding his phone, and you're out of the range after 60 feet, and he starts to back up, it'll automatically sync back up and right. and start going. And then once you stage and take off, it'll it'll basically right. just and 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 the, and the limitation is not anything that we have created. It's just limitation of Bluetooth. Right. You know, Bluetooth is if you're lucky 75 or 100 feet maximum. And that would be like with the module laying out you know, with around no race car and you're just standing at a building. Open air, right. Yeah, but you, yeah, it, like I said, we want everyone to understand it's not limitations of us, it's just a design of the Bluetooth. Correct. All right, so we've talked about the part number, 230VM Dash app, how it works, how you sync up to it. So we know kind of how we use it in-house, but this is new technology for both us and the customer. Mm -hmm. So there is like a thousand one uses we don't know about. Yeah, and, and that's up to you guys. Whatever you guys want to let us know as far as what you've used it for, your cool little trick, then uh, you want to share it, share it on Facebook, on Race Pack Data. And, uh, you know, never know, the, the coolest one might just have to win a free t-shirt or some sunglasses or something. Yeah, we're learning with you guys. So 
Uh, we're using it in-house to, to, to find out some, some cool features of it, so you guys can too. So the future, what does the future hold for it? You never know. It might just have a pro version that uh, has some, some really cool features coming out soon, and you'll just have to wait and see. Right, exactly. Yeah. So stop guessing and start learning and with the new RacePack Dash app. For more information, be sure to log on to racepack.com and uh, check out all the information there. We'll see you at the track.